Well, I made it to Logan Pass. God, it's a beautiful day. It's already 60 degrees and it's 10.30 in the morning up here. It's amazing. Lots of great options for shooting up here. So many different ways you can go. You can, I mean, last night on Heavy Runner, going to the Sun, Reynolds Mountain, all of those are really nice options. Yeah, so I'm gonna spend the day up here. I'm gonna take the next couple hours and make a cup of coffee, get my book out, my chair, and just sit and look. It's so nice. And then later in the afternoon, I'll start to think about sunset shots and begin to scout for a four middle ground and all that good stuff. This is probably a very different place than you expected to see. I spent the afternoon at Logan Pass scouting for compositions. I just couldn't find anything that really worked. With this blue sky day, it had to be almost like northwest facing so that the peaks would catch last light if there's any chance of interesting light. So I called an audible and opted to head down in to autumn, which is where I am now, wandering around some random stand trees, looking for a composition. This is where I've wanted to be for the last several days anyways, to be honest. Driving past all these stands of golden aspen and birch the last couple of days, I've just been, I've been drooling but I hadn't prioritized the forest shots. I just, when I get in the glacier, I just want to shoot mountains and lakes. Oh, I just want to be in them, which is great. I, I love it. It's wonderful. But I've only got about 24 hours left here. No, not 24 hours. Like 12 hours left here. I'd be remiss to leave without getting into the forest and photographing some of these golden stands. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Unfortunately, I didn't find a composition until the back lighting and side lighting is gone. The sun's now behind the ridge over here. The next best thing for forest photography is often just open shade where there's no harsh specular highlights and distractions in the forest. It's just a lot simpler lighting scenario. So that's all right. It would have been nice to have back lighting, but this actually works quite nicely without it. This is it. This is the shot. It's so dead simple. Um, you know, it's three trees evenly spaced, the wall of gold behind them, giving the bottom of the frame a little bit of room for them to breathe, at least for the trunk to come down, the, the one on the left that's closest to the bottom of the frame, uh, a little bit of space for it to rise up uh, and not cutting that one off, and then just poof, cropping it mid-tree, lower part of the tree, to keep that wall of gold a solid backdrop. If I tilt the lens up too much, or go too wide, we start to get in, uh, we start to introduce the sky, which is really, really bright and would be very distracting as a luminance value. You can see here, here's the wide, and then we're just coming in, we're cutting out the sky ever so slightly to eliminate that distraction, just making a really, really simple shot here. Uh, back up a little bit there, there we go, that's nice. All right, that's it, that's all there is to it. Looks like we're at F11, one th third of a second. Oops, or sorry, three tenths of a second. ISO 160. And we'll take it. There we go. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna look for some more compositions in here.
So I'm deep in the heart of Glacier's backcountry. <laughs> Sometimes this deck comes in very handy. Um, so I actually found a shot that I love. I adore this shot. It's a little Ansel Adams-esque. Both the fact that I'm standing on top of my car and the shot of these Aspens. It's got deep Ansel Adams vibes. I couldn't resist. This is just so nice. So I put my long lens on now and I'm just picking out little vignettes in these trees, just experimenting. Just kind of pick out little little moments in the trees. Well, I think that's it for today. The light's fading. Got a few shots here. But I'll continue this vlog tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is my last day on this uh, five day glacier trip. And I'm headed back to Missoula, but I'm gonna do another shoot tomorrow morning. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for sunrise yet. Before I sign off for tonight, here's a couple of images from tonight's shoot in the woods. I had a plan to shoot sunrise at Wild Goose Island viewpoint. And woke up to the alarm, got going, got a couple miles back down the road towards the overlook and I just wasn't feeling convicted about it. I had scouted it the day before and didn't find as many pops of color and autumn evidence in that space as I would have hoped. It was just kind of generic and the skies were clear this morning and it was gonna be a very bland shot. So I turned around and decided to go for Looking Glass Hill, which is between St. Mary and Two Medicine. There's tons of foliage, lots of aspen stands, most of them at peak. And I got there and I couldn't find a shot. The light started to get harsh and uh, decided to just call it and say, oh, so it goes. Sometimes it happens like this. I called it, I, um, I decided to leave, but then something cool happened. Driving Highway 2 from Marias Pass, now I'm almost to West Glacier. Fog, just the whole valley is socked in with fog and it is so atmospheric and beautiful and autumn-esque. So I've just been stopping at pull-offs with my telephoto lens and picking off little vignettes of fog and foliage and it changes every couple of seconds. The fog moving in and out of the trees, revealing new sections, revealing mountains. It's just cool. What a way to end this trip. Went, went on a, a one of these woo, disappointment this morning too. Woo. I really appreciate you following along. If you've watched uh, all three of these vlogs, I bet they've gotten kind of lengthy. This is the third and final installment of this Glacier National Park autumn series. Well, I'm gonna take a couple more images and I'm gonna leave you with the images from today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.